your EDC is just another level of preparedness. I'm going to show you some very cool new products that are going to make your EDC awesome. Stick around. We're going to jump right into it. I got some awesome EDC bags that I want to show you today. And uh, this is from a, a small manufacturer. Right? It's not even a manufacturer. It's, it's, it's a guy who makes these bags one at a time. Um, and he has some of the most awesome designs that I've seen in such a long time. And I've actually reviewed several of his products in the past and I'll have links to those and, and cut in some video throughout this video to show you what those are. Um, and this is just the next evolution of his gear that he's come up with. Now, the company we're talking about is JSD or JS Designs. Um, and what's interesting about JS Designs is that um, they are out of the Ukraine, um, which is, it's crazy because I feel like I've been doing a lot of uh, reviews of stuff from the Ukraine. There's some fantastic uh, people out there who are doing some really cool stuff. And it just blows me away with what's going on over in that part of the world that they're even able to still run a business. And um, JSD has been on Etsy for a few years now. Um, and the stuff that he comes up with uh, for EDC is just, it, it's amazing. And I wanna take you through some of these new bag designs that, um, that I've been testing out. Um, and I just, I, I can't believe how cool this stuff is. And hopefully this will help you out if you're looking for a new bag option. Now, the big craze right now is sling bags. The, they've made a huge kind of resurgence in the EDC market. A lot of people um, I'm noticing are wearing small packs like this um, across their chest, um, on their side, at their hip. Um, and they're nice because it gives you an option um, and the ability to move around a little bit easier um, and not have uh, you know a big bulky shoulder bag or a, a fanny pack which you know everybody knows a fanny pack is not that cool uh, but this this particular design that we're going to look at today as well as some of the other ones um, has that modularity and that versatility that allows you to try it in different configurations, wear it different ways, depending on what you do. The first bag we're gonna look at is this um, EDC sling pack. Uh, it's made from X-Pack material, and if you're not familiar with, with X-Pack, it is becoming a very popular um, material in the EDC market, in the bag market, custom bag market. And what's nice about it is it has a very um, a fantastic water resistant property to it. It's very tough. Um, it really holds up well to use and abuse and abrasions and all that good stuff. And it just has a really fantastic look to it. So we got the JSD uh, initials or logo right there in this little piece of rubber material that you can use to put a carabiner through. And then we have custom zipper pulls that he is using for his bags, which is more of this rubberized material. Nice quality zippers. These are uh, YKK. So we have a big front pocket that is gonna give you the ability to put in a larger phone and have access to that. He's using these custom zipper pulls that have the JSD logo on them. Pretty sophisticated, gives it a really nice look, but also they're just fantastic zipper pulls to work with. And then you open this up and we've got a very nice front pocket that is hinged so this thing doesn't flop open and all the contents spill out. Now I've just got a little first aid kit in mine a couple of pens, but as you can see, some nice elastic loops for different items, and then a slip pocket in the back, and of course I've got just a notebook back there. Top of the bag has a grab handle 
But what's nice about this is the grab handle is, um, it's very low profile, so it doesn't stick up and get snagged on things. And I kind of appreciate that if you're carrying this around on your body. And then we have zippers on the back and that opens up into a compartment that is Velcro lined on the back. And this gives you the ability to customize this bag. Um, and I'm gonna show you some of the custom options that you can get with this. So we have, the, we have the Velcro panel. Now, of course, this is gonna be perfect for carrying a concealed uh, pistol, if that's what you wanna do. He has a panel set that you can buy separately and add to this, and I'll, we'll go through those in a minute. Um, but also, there is a very nice pocket that's kind of low key, has a small zipper so it, it doesn't stick out. But you got a nice pocket back there to add more items. It'd be great for cables, things like that. And then the back of this pack, this is where it gets very interesting. There are these rubberized material, I think that's uh, what they call Haplin, um, tabs that are sewn in all around the perimeter of this bag. And what this allows you to do is, is to reconfigure the strap that it comes with in different ways. Now, if you noticed, I've got mine set up uh, a bottom clip here and then I've clipped it to the top there so it's kind of offset and when I wear this I'll show you uh, with this on me how that looks but this gives you the ability to wear this bag in multiple ways you can wear this as a hip pack if you attach it this way um, you can attach it to the top and it can be a shoulder bag you can do the offset like I've done and now it's a sling pack and what's great about the the strap is you basically just squeeze and that releases the gate and that comes out. Same thing here, pops right open, very easy to operate. And then even, even the strap um, is custom. I mean, this is not just some off the shelf uh, strap that he's picked up. This is built by him hardware specific for this strap so we've got a kind of a slick um, nylon almost like a seat belt type material so that makes it very nice for wearing on your clothes it doesn't get snagged or hooked up on stuff um, but then it transitions into a smaller strap and then there is a quick release so you just push that buckle And you can even do it one-handed because this is magnetic. So it's a magnetic buckle. You can easily take that on and off, but it's very secure. I have not had this come off on me yet. It, it stays where it's supposed to. Plenty of adjustment in this strap, as you can see, pretty long. So if you're a bigger person, um, you're not gonna have any issues wearing this. And if you're wearing it in the winter time over a coat, not a problem. Now the last feature on this particular bag is there is a slip pocket back here. And my iPhone 14 in a case, um, a UAG case, and I can't show because I'm actually filming with it, but it fits in here perfectly. Um, any bigger than that and you're probably going to run into issues. But um, so around uh, uh, you know, an iPhone 13, 14, something like that, it's going to fit in there pretty well. If you're carrying a bigger case like an OtterBox, it's probably not going to work. Um, but it's still nice to have this pocket because it allows you to put like a wallet, um, a passport, um, boarding passes, whatever can slip in here. And then when you're wearing it, it's against you and it's hidden. So it's got a nice hidden quality to it. So another option that you have with this particular bag and other bags of his is that you can buy an organizer set. So these three pieces are, are one set, and this gives you the ability to organize your pack the way you want. So this one, of course, is the bigger one. Uh, it's big enough to hold cables, Swiss Army knife, EDC flashlight. It even has a nice elastic loop up here for a quick access pen, right? And then, of course, a big slip pocket in the back that has 
a couple more pockets sewn into it. So a lot of organization just on this one panel. And of course this panel fits the entire back wall of the EDC bag. But if you don't want that, he also gives you this one. So you can add that. And then this one, which is perfect for cards and credit cards and things like that, money. Put that there, and now you got those two. So, with this optional accessory set, adding this to the bag is going to give you a lot, you know, give you a lot more options for sure. Now the next bag we're going to look at is very similar to the EDC pack we looked at, but this is called the Tactical. And what makes this a little bit different is a panel that's been sewn on the front. And once again, it's something that is unique. Um, his design, it actually works as a molly panel. So you can clip uh, carabiners or pouches to this very easily. But if you want to add a patch, you certainly can, not a problem. And I believe this is uh, probably a 500D Cordura. Same pocket configuration on the front. You've got the big slip pocket in the front. You open up the inside and you have that same elastic configuration and a slip pocket back here. So plenty of room to do what you need. But what's cool about this particular pack is he includes a holster and a mag carrier. So now you can configure this like that. And have your pistol easily accessible. Um, and since you're able to change the strap setup, um, it's very easy to draw from. Mm. So here is the tactical model. Um, and what I've done is I've actually put my concealed carry in here. But just like the ADC model, I, have, I can wear this so it's on my front. I'm controlling the contents. Um, I don't have to worry about someone trying to get into it. I can still pretty quickly open this up and draw if I have to. There's no hangups. There's no issue with the zippers. Tighter to my body and higher up on my chest. I can do that, essentially turning this into a chest pack. But carrying this on my side is no problem. But that's just gonna give you another level of preparedness when you're out and about. Um, you don't have to have a big bulky sling pack. Same configuration as the other bag on the back. Uh, the only difference with this one is there is loops on the side. So if you did want to put some type of pouch or carabiner or some kind of other attachment, you can do that here. Plus there is an elastic loop on the bottom, which is perfect for um, adding a quick access knife or even a tourniquet. So with this panel, you're able to clip this into the straps. And now what happens is this turns this pouch into a dangler pouch. This can be added to a plate carrier, a chest rig. Um, so this could become your admin first aid pouch, whatever, however you want to set it up. But it's just another cool feature that um, makes this pack even more uh, adaptable and more versatile. And then the last bag I wanted to show you is this. This little EDC pouch um, that he's come up with is just brilliant. Um, once again, tons of features built into it. Um, it has a very nice deep slip pocket on the front so you can fit flashlights and knives. You have webbing, that's that rubberized material, of course, on the front so you can clip things in. Velcro on the bottom so you can add a patch. There is a slip pocket up here, which is perfect for pens. And then what's cool about this is it has a very nice X-Pack type material on the inside. 
um, that is going to fit a phone with a case. So now you have a way of carrying your phone, but it also has the ability to be turned into a Molly pouch. And then with the, um, with adding an optional strap or using a strap from one of your other bags, of course, you can go in Clip that on. And now you've got a way of carrying your phone uh, as a shoulder bag. So, uh, you know, this is, I think, a perfect option. Uh, I know my wife would love this, having something like this, just being, because a lot of times she does not like to carry a big purse, um, but she wants to have her phone and some credit cards and a few other sundry items and but still she wants it strapped to her so she's not always setting it down when she's out shopping or something so with adding the strap um, you're able to do that and um, gives you more options so just to show you how i would typically carry this bag i like it in this configuration it's just what i like about it is if i'm in a crowd I can keep this front and center. Um, I can control uh, the contents. So if I'm in a larger city and I'm worrying about pickpockets, um, something like that, I can have a bag with me. I can put my hand over it. I'm in control of the contents in the bag. If um, I'm walking and I feel comfortable, I can certainly sling this back and now carry it on my lower back or on my hip and that's out of the way. So if I'm doing something, shopping, whatever, looking at stuff, I can move this around, um, but it's very easy to get to. You know, generally I don't like uh, carrying concealed carry um, off my body, but I think these bags for me um, definitely are a far superior than any of the bags I've been seeing on the market lately. Um, to me, they don't scream gun bag. They look like a very common EDC bag. I've seen very similar type bags when I was traveling recently and I was in like, I think four or five different airports on, in one week, um, all over the United States in the Midwest. <clears throat> and I saw a lot of these sling type packs being worn. Um, they really didn't stand out. Um, of course, this one's a little bit more tactical with the black multicam, but there's other options and colors. You don't have to go with that. Um, you could just get the X-Pack, uh, the, the EDC model, and buy the holster separately or put your own holster in there. And then you have an, a way of carrying a, a firearm. But, um, you know, EDC um, is, like I said before, it's another level of preparedness. What we carry with us on a daily basis can affect... Um, what happens to us if you know if something goes wrong so the ability to carry not only just personal items but also emergency items like tourniquets and first aid kits bandanas a pistol pocket knives flashlights all those tools um, and then have them in a really nice uh, well-made grab-and-go bag um, I think it's fantastic, and, and um, the prices on this stuff, it's not cheap, um, but it certainly is right in line with the, all the other big mass-produced um, bags out there from the other companies who are producing bags um, similar to this, um, but certainly not the quality uh, that the JSD uh, design bags are. So. I'm gonna have links down below in the description. Go to his Etsy shop, um, support um, small manufacturers and makers. Um, you know, this stuff is designed and built by a craftsman, and that's what I love about it. And shipping on this stuff, the shipping times is not that bad. Um, it comes very quickly from the Ukraine, believe it or not. Um, and I don't know how long that's gonna last, of course, with what's happening over there. Um, it's amazing that he's still able to produce this stuff. But also be sure to check out the links down below to the Facebook group, to preparedwanderer.com, to my Instagram, and to all the other affiliate links down below. That really helps out the channel quite a bit. 
And as always, I appreciate you watching my videos, and we will see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.